How's it going, guys? Uh, this is the first installment of One Take Tuesday. Uh, One Take Tuesday is a uh, weekly video series, um, and it's a video that is one take. We're not gonna do any cuts, any close-up, any cutaways, things like that. We just want a nice, transparent video that, that shows you, you know, different detailing tips, the capabilities of our products, um, and we want you guys to get involved, so leave comments and questions and things like that. Um, but in the instance of this intro, this is actually the end of the video. So if you look at this, we went and we did the 50-50 of this car. We taped this down the middle and we had the damaged side of the paint and we went ahead and we polished this side with the SK Pro. Um, and so this being the end of the video, we wanted you to see the 50-50 uh, the and, and what we achieved. And that's what I'm gonna teach you today in this video. Um, but what we're gonna do is because this is the end, but the intro at the same time, we're gonna reverse to the, to the beginning right now so you guys can see the very beginning of how we started and got to this point. So Chris, go ahead and reverse it. Today we're gonna do polishing um, and I have the perfect subject right here. This nice BMW, our, uh, our buddy Derek upstairs, uh, he let us use this, it's been, neglected and washed with, it looks like sandpaper, but um, there's some very clear scratching here. Um, and what I wanna do is I'm gonna tape this right down the middle and uh, we're gonna do the 50-50. So let's go ahead and get started. So tape, and just uh, disclosure uh, for this, we're, we're doing a one take on the whole thing. We're not cutting once, um, but there will be instances where Chris, my editor who's behind the camera right now, will maybe speed it up uh, do some time remapping uh, just so we can get through kind of the boring pieces of it. So he'll probably do that as I tape this because I know you guys don't want to watch me tape. So got this nice and taped off right here in the middle. Um, another disclosure too, we're doing this in the middle of the day in a, in a work week at Adams Polishes. So full functioning warehouse. You can see Tyreen over there. He's uh, folding up and bagging all the towels and everything. So we're just, it's a normal day here. If, if we weren't doing it on video, we'd be doing it just for fun, testing products and things. So um, I just want to make that kind of clear. So we're going to be doing the SK Pro uh, today. Um, just, I like this machine a lot. You know, it has the detachable cord, the light. Um, and with the condition of this paint right now, it's really scratched. I know that I need to use microfiber. I need to be the most aggressive on this. It's just, it's just the reality of, of where this paint is. So I'm gonna start with the microfiber and I like to center it with uh, the uh, center of the polisher with the center of the pad. Go ahead and get this plugged in. Just like that. And microfiber pad with the blue foam on it gives you the compound. So I'm just going to do a little bit of compound and I like to incorporate this into, uh, into the pad a little bit. And I want to take the cord and put it over my shoulder. And I'm going to start on setting five for the speed. Um, I might bump it up to six, but I just, five is just a good place to start with five or four, you know, depending on how aggressive you want to be. I'm going to start on five. So. Now, before I go through this, I just want to explain something. Uh, with polishing, the technique of how you polish is going to be the thing that warrants the best results. So uh, there's kind of four things I really think about when I'm polishing. That is number one, the plane of the pad on the surface. So plane would be to me is like a flat surface. So I want this plane to be flat. I want the pad to be flat on the surface. I don't want it on an edge. Anything like that, I just want it flat. Wherever it kind of curves, I need to go with that. Keep the plane um, flat. The pressure of my hand, how hard I press down. Um, you want to press down just enough where you hear the polisher kind of bog down a little bit. You can hear it. Um, usually to us, we say two to three pounds of downward pressure. Um, the uh, pace, which would be like the speed of how fast I'm going. You'll see once I start how fast I start going. You go at a pretty slow pace. Um, and then the, uh, what's the last one? Overlap. Yep, the uh, pattern. Thank you, Chris. 
the pattern and that is like you're mowing the lawn. So make a nice straight line this way, you overlap by an inch or quarter of an inch, half an inch, and you just make the pattern and you wanna do side to side and up and down, that would be one pass. So that's the technique, right? We start it, lock it in, and then we put the pressure down. So you can kind of hear it bog down a little bit. So now, <clears throat> as you polish with the microfiber pad, the fibers start to mat down. Um, you can kind of see it right here. And what happens is it just becomes less effective when you're polishing. It just glides along the surface rather than all those fibers getting into all the scratches and everything. So grab a pad conditioning brush. We brush this out. The easiest way is just hold it down low, turn it on, hold it, the button down, and then run the brush over it. And you can see, right here, check this out. You can see it all just comes right back to life. And then again, you see all the blue in there. That's the polish, not the polish, that's the compound that we're using. And that compound, the abrasives, they can start to dry out. So the way to get that back is grabbing detail spray, or you could just use water, it doesn't matter. Do water, detail spray or water. Whatever one you have handy, I have water handy. And you can see how much polish is still in there. There's a ton of polish still in the pad. So there's no reason to keep adding polish to it. You wanna rehydrate the solids that are in the pad. You just spread it out again and keep going. One thing I wanna talk about is um, I use the integrated light on the SK Pro. I just turned it on. Um, and the reason why I did that is it gives me a reference. I can kind of get the right angle, but I can see um, my progress. It's kind of a pulse check while I'm polishing. Sorry about that, but it's kind of a pul pulse check while I'm polishing. So I can monitor my progress essentially. And you know, here in the Shine Stop, we have nice lighting. Um, not everyone has lighting like that. so. Having that integrated light in the SK Pro is just a great tool to kind of see where you're, see where you're headed, see the progress you're making, so you can, you know, know where you need to attack certain scratches or things, and and it's just a great. I can see with the light, I I got most of these scratches out, um, but one thing I do see it's it's a little hazy, which is natural when you're using the compound and the microfiber pad. Um, it being the most aggressive method of polishing, you're gonna get a natural haze. It's just the reality and really that doesn't bother me because I know I can get that out with the polish. Um, really what I'm using the microfiber and the compound for is to get the deeper scratches out first and then I can go back and reduce the haze and make it a mirror finish with the polish. So that's where I'm headed right now. So let's get the polish going. And again, color-coded white with white, super easy. So again, centering it with the center hole on the pad and the polisher, get that on there and then grabbing the polish. This is kind of the same thing. So I didn't wipe this off. I don't need to, there's no reason to. It's just leftover compound and it, the compound I know is broke down. It is, it, I've worked through it enough so I can just go straight over the top of it with the polish. And it's honestly the same technique. Um, and there's things that, you know, as you, as you get more experience with polishing, there's different techniques. There's ways you can finesse the polisher to jewel the paint to make it look crazy, uh, you know, shiny, things like that. But right now I just wanna try to remove this haze. It's like the only thing I'm trying to do right now. So same techniques as before. All right, I think we're there. Let's check this out. It's 50-50, right? So let me see that. I want you guys to see this, okay? I want to be able to see this 50-50. So you guys can see it over here. Let's take this tape off, okay? Check this out. Dude, that's what I'm talking about right there. Look at how crazy that is. That is 
a pulsing 50-50. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So just with, I mean, two pads, a compound and a polish, just like that, there's a system. It's that easy. I mean, it's in the technique, like I said, the technique on polishing was the same for both compound and polish. So, I mean, those results kind of speak for themselves, but um, you know, I hope you guys like this one take Tuesday. Um, we love showing people the capabilities of our products, but just detailing tips in general, you know, I, we, we want to be a solution to the problem. You know, the problem is your paint looks like this. this, this we have the solution for it. So. Um, that's kind of like why we wanted to do this. And again, I want you guys to get involved. If, if you have questions, comments, you know, what do you guys want to see? I, I, I want to know the questions. If it's interior, if it's ceramics, if you want to see, you know, one take Tuesday on how the UV ceramic works, you know, we're, we're down to do anything. So um, we look forward to the questions and comments and uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>